comes to Halloween, what do we want to be thinking about when it comes to our packs? So Halloween's a fun time for all of us, right? If you like costumes and candy and uh, having fun. For the pets, for our pets, dogs, cats, it could be really scary. So uh, cats, uh, what I would do is keep them indoors on Halloween. Keep them in a room where maybe uh, they don't have access or to the front door or can hear the front door because uh, a scary costume coming in, it might be cute fun kids go squealing and going trick-or-treat uh, it might scare them and they might just get out the door and, and it's you might lose them I mean, for us the SBCA Halloween has always been the busiest night of the year for stray animals coming in because doors are opening and closing uh, people coming and going so cats come in keep them in another room also ID lots of ID so have the collars on make sure your uh, tattoo microchip everything is up to date so that if they do get out and come into one of our shelters or to another shelter or clinic, they're able to trace the tattoo or the microchip and contact you. For dogs, same thing. It's again, uh, some who are used to being around kids and, and people in costumes, um, they might be okay for other ones. It's all new to them, so it can be really scary. You can imagine, you know, um, somebody you've never met before coming up to you and, and you know going hey how's it going <laughs> it, it could be quite scary so for the dog same thing if, if somebody has a mask or or um, costume on uh, again the squealing the the doorbell ringing they get scared they run out the door uh, and off they go so you want to keep them in keep them you know maybe when the doorbell rings that's their cue to go into the other room or have a family member to hang on to them uh, ID up to date, uh, anything like that, just, just so that if they do get out, you're able to, to catch them. Uh, I know Halloween too here, we have fireworks going. Again, scary. So even when you're going out door to door trick or treating with the kids, maybe kindest thing is leave your dog at home. Because again, that scary costumes coming up and then the fireworks going off, it's a lot going on. And we know, we know what's going on, but often they don't and it can be scary. It can be a scary time. So. What about dressing up my pet? They look so cute in their costumes. I know, I know. Sometimes they look so cute and, and, and we think, oh, look, just look at my little, you know, look at this little spider costume on a little dog. You know, we think, oh, it'd be the cutest <laughs> little thing ever. But, but we have to think about the dogs. So if we're putting them on or in a costume and we're restricting any type of like movement, then they can't you know, move naturally. Plus, we're not really giving them a choice. It's something that we're forcing them to do. Even, uh, even like something like this, and I don't want to put it on him, uh, but something like that, if you put it on and then you're covering their ears, they're one, it, it, they may not be used to having something on their head like that. They may not be able to hear properly or another dog coming up may not recognize like what that is, like as far as their, um, their, their body posture goes even because they communicate, you know, through body postures and if you have something on that restricts them even sometimes if they have a costume on and th their hackles go up and the other dog can't read that then um, we're, we're interfering with their communication so we don't want to do that we don't I know sometimes even cats uh, some people put costumes on cats and, and it's cute but then if they if they put it on and then they fall over and, and people think it's kind of funny it's not what, what we try and think of is think of the cats think of the animals and what they're experiencing and it's it may all be all new to them and very uncomfortable and, and as guardians of, of cats and dogs our responsibility is to make sure they're happy and healthy and and it's all good so we don't want we don't want them to experience that Bruno, Bruno. hi <laughs> say what no to Halloween candy another good point Halloween candy so there's lots of Halloween candy uh, this time of year which is great uh, what we want to do again is make sure that it's up and out of the way for dogs and cats because we don't want them to get into it uh, uh, chocolate we all know chocolate's not good for dogs or cats and um, if they do get into it call your vet right away and find out what you should do um, and what what symptoms to look for uh, put it up right put it away put it just somewhere where they can't get to even if you think oh it's they won't get into it just make sure it's up and secure because you know, their best thing, their best tool is their nose, and they will find it. <laughs>